Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the real United States and welcome to Richmond, Virginia. We're here in front of the Science Museum of Virginia, in front of the largest kugel ball in the world. Now about a week ago, maybe less, we had been up in Baltimore and filmed one of these. It is a perfectly spherical polished granite ball that floats in a also equally precisionly machined pocket that's spherical. Now the one we did in Baltimore, very short segment, weighs 10,000 pounds. But as I said, this is the largest of these sculptures in the world, at least to my understanding. This particular one, now if you go out and you look up, this is called the Grand Kugel. And if you try to look up some of the information about it, you're going to get some various differing ideas about the weight of this. And I've seen everything from 24 tons to 84 tons. Well, I couldn't have that, so I went ahead and I did the calculations. This sphere is 8 feet, 8.7 inches in diameter. It's made of granite, which has a density of 2.75 grams per cubic centimeter. Well, that works out to be 29.85 tons. 59,000 pounds and change, or about 28,000 plus, 28,081, I believe, kilograms. I'll put those exact numbers here on the screen for you. But it is a huge piece of granite. I don't even know how you would machine something like this. But as you can see, it is rolling around on this thin film of water. Now, some of the folks, when we did this smaller one up in Baltimore, had asked, how is that possible? How does that work? Well, I've got a link to the paper down below that was published about how this actually works. So if you're really good at integral and differential calculus and partial differentials, I'm sure you'll have no problem understanding the physics of how this works. If that's not really your shtick, then, uh, well, it's magic. No, actually, it's hydrostatic pressure and the lubricating effect of the water. And it is absolutely imperative that this is perfectly spherical, that both surfaces, the receiver and the ball, are perfectly matched in their diameter. Otherwise, this won't work. This was originally put here in 2003, and it was made out of a piece of black African granite. Well, a while after that, it developed a crack, and the crack proceeded to grow, and at a point, it stopped working because it has to be a perfectly smooth spherical surface, and it locked up. It had to be removed, and this new one was then put in its place. Now, it's not really clearly evident, but on this is, is etched the map of the globe, of the Earth. And uh, they tell me they tell me that this 29 tons, 29.85 tons, you can actually move. Although it's not easy, I can tell you what, because it's got a lot of inertia. But it is possible to stop it and to push it in another direction. Isn't that something? It's just literally floating on that sheet of water it's the same principle that causes hydroplaning on an automobile when you're going too fast. There's some water on the road where you've got a five or six or seven thousand pound automobile or truck and it'll lose connection with the road. It's the same principle. Now about 250 feet off over here, there's a representation of the moon and it's much smaller obviously as the moon would be relative to the earth. It only weighs about a thousand pounds. And I believe that it was put in about the same time as part of this display for the Science Museum. So here we are about 250 feet away from the Grand Kugel in front of the Science Museum of Virginia. And here is the other Kugel ball that I was mentioning. This is a much smaller, this weighs about a thousand pounds. Uh, looks to be no more than a couple of feet in diameter. I guess I can probably look up and put the exact diameter on the screen here. But again, this thing is just floating on a cushion of water, just as nice as could be, like a big ball bearing. And it's just amazing 
not uh, not a terribly lot lot of water. The water is warm, and I suspect the reason for that is that although Virginia is relatively is a southern state, it does freeze here in the winter. So I suspect that they heat this water during the cooler months like this. This is uh, November when we're filming to keep this thing from freezing, so it'll run. 365 days a year here in front of the museum. But uh, again, this one doesn't have near as much mass, therefore not near as much inertia. And this is supposedly the representation of the moon relative to the Earth. So I know that a lot of people were writing in and telling me about where these were in their part of the world. Some people hadn't seen these before. We just thought it was such an interesting thing that we were this close, only about a two hour ride, two and a half hour ride for us to get to the largest one in the world. And uh, that we wanted to come down and share this with you on this beautiful, beautiful sunny day in downtown Richmond, Virginia, the capital of the state of Virginia. So we'd like to thank you for joining us here on The Real United States. We hope you've enjoyed seeing the world's largest kugel ball. If you haven't already, we encourage you to pick subscribe. Come along for the adventure. We love having everybody with us. If you've got questions or comments, leave them in the comments section below. We love hearing from all of you. I try to get back to everybody I can. And as always, thank you for watching.